Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Jade Empire. Right, let's level up. Okay, let's get one on each. Let's get damage increased instead of time. Legendary strike. And let's get a damage increase with Stone Immortal. Alright. Stuff we need to pick up from in here before we leave. I'm running back to the temple. I really... Oh dear. I really don't know, want to know who that is. Buzz. How polite of them. Because now they kept silver lying around the place. Scroll stand. The tricksters. The fox spirits are among the most wily and deceptive of all the minions of heaven. They think nothing of playing games with mortals, and they often follow no rules at all. Though some are said to serve honourably in the celestial bureaucracy, many more have made their mark in more sinister ways. Tales of demons snatching children from their beds, husbands and wives that astray, and good men led into lives of excess and murderous depravity are all the work of these spirits. Never should you value your life. Trust from these breed completely, and no matter how honourable their intentions seem. Alright. Oh! That is awesome. I'll Ooh! Hello! Hello! Go away. I'll take you. Look at that focus bar, everybody. I like it. Right, come along, Sky. Let's go back to the temple. We need to see the forest shadow. And kill these disgusting creatures. I probably went the really long way around, but never mind. How romantic. Actually, Sky, do you have anything new to say to me? While I'm thinking? Something's on your mind? Is anything on your mind? Yes, I'd welcome the chance. Really? I never really answered your question about how I tracked Gao down. It's not that bad a story, if you still want to hear it. Let's go for it. <laughs> I'd be quite interested. I lost the men who murdered my daughter, but there are other ways to track men besides following their footprints, something I know all too well. Eight years ago, when my wife passed away giving birth to Pin May, I decided to settle down. Before that, my life was less... stable. Ah. How did you meet your wife if your life was so chaotic? Not every girl likes pompous nobles or stuffy scholars. She and I saw eye to eye on many things, including living life to the fullest. Oh, you go, girl. I agree. You remind me of her. Though she was flighty where you're intense, and she fought with nothing approaching your skill, you also don't burgle people's houses. No, true. I just threw you off everybody else. <laughs> don't you feel strange comparing me to your dead wife? Not really. She was a wonderful woman, but she was taken from me long ago. I meant the comparison as a compliment. And I will take it. Your connections in the underworld track down Gao? As I followed the trail of various slave trading rings, I started seeing connections. Strangely enough, all of them seemed tied to the Lotus Assassins. <laughs> We've already seen the connection between the two. My question is, since it's so clear Gao is connected to the Assassins, could their order have similar associations with the whole slave market? Of course, I didn't know about the direct connection at the time, but I did find some tenuous links to Gao the Greater. By approaching it from the top down, Assassins to Gao to Slavers, I managed to piece together his involvement and learn the location of his base. How do you know Gao's slavers are the ones who took your daughter? My home was not far from Tien's landing, so I'm certain that it was Gao's men who took my daughter. Meeting you and being given this chance to take the fight higher, I'm glad I chased that bastard down. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. 
And I'm happy to have your company. It's good to be here. There's much ahead of us, but at least we have allies. And friends. That'll make the road easier. Speaking of which, we should keep moving, don't you think? That we should. That's all I need to me, honey. Always happy to help. Okay. Right, enough chatter. We have got work to do, Sky. Indentation in the pedestal that looks like it held something until recently. Right. Let's go talk to Spear Cutter's Leaf. I'm back. Greetings, my friend. Have you had any luck finding the crystal? I have the missing crystal here. You have it? Excellent. I should return and report this to Lord Yun. He will want to hear this news. It's safer to be get out of here. I agree. I am a hunter, not a warrior. My gifts lie in moving swiftly, silently, and alone. The news must be brought to Lord Yun, and it is my duty to bring it. I'm hoping you do most of the work by setting up those furnaces. The crystal fits into the central pedestal atop these steps, unlocking the lens arms in the lower furnaces so they can direct light to the remaining furnaces. You think the light is key somehow? The other furnaces have colored crystals in them, presumably to alter the light. Lord Yun's father called this the Ritual of Seasons. A forest, he said, cares about only two seasons. The cooler air of winter and the blistering heat of summer are the only things it notices. I can figure this out from here. All right. Summer and winter seem to be the key. Black Whirlwind will stay behind to offer whatever help he can. If anyone can control him, it's you. He's not a dog. Well... I'm sure I can find a use for him. Hey, I'm not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed around. Damn it, even wine shouldn't be passed, in my opinion. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back on your word. My word isn't worth a damn thing. That said, I'm still reeling from actually losing to anyone short of an army. Or a girl, no less. And I'm still reeling from your smell. <laughs> That's a good one, and probably true. All I know is that traveling with you seems a damn sight more interesting than rotting in this forest. Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I damn well didn't expect to lose one in this forest. Then you come along and beat me handily. Are you sure following me won't interfere with your mercenary lifestyle? Nah. So long as I'm fighting and drinking, preferably at the same time, <laughs> I think I can let that part where you'd pay me slide. I think you and her would make great partners. My only rules are don't touch my axes, don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Oh, we shall. Well, you, me, and the pretty boy. You must be wealthy to have your own <laughs> Oh. Ha! <laughs> You're gonna fit right in. You must like to dice, correct? Sure. Can't say as I'm very good at it. I could never remember the rules. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Be safe. The spirit's willing, I will reach Lord Yon's camp quickly. If you need more supplies or training, that is where I will Take be. Take care. Let's go find something and make its day a lot worse. Make your way to Yon's landing and look for my other followers. Right. If I'm lucky, something will try to jump me on the way there. Though I bet you've ruined the fun by clearing a path for me already. Maybe I'll take the long way. Sorry, Whirlwind. My bad. <laughs> Eunuch. Oh dear. I want to see the dice game. I would love to see that. Okay. Go down here. Right, 
Summer and winter. Summer and winter. Summer and winter. Right. Red and then blue. Go back up to the pedestal. Clicky. And we have opened a portal. Leave it there for now. When we return, we shall go through the portal. Stay with me.